Now at five, a mother's anguish months after her son was murdered on an Akron street. But I try not to put that on anyone else. So I put on my brave face and I keep moving. And then at night, I have my, my release. So it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And that killer is still on the loose. But Gage Zerke's mom and Akron police hope money can change that. So today, News 5's Bob Jones spoke with the woman about the new reward in her message to the killer. Akron police tell me they are making progress in trying to solve the murder of Gage Zerke, and they hope a new $5,000 reward will finally bring justice and peace to a heartbroken mother. Ultimately, we're still trying to figure out a way to navigate life without him. From the backyard of her Akron home, Lucretia Talbert Rogers wiped away tears as she tried to put into words a pain no parent should endure. I feel like I've been shot as well, that I have lost a big part of my body. Lucretia says her son, Gage Zerke, was her sunshine, an energetic 20-year-old man who never met a stranger, and a former star high school football player in South Carolina. But Gage um, was very loved, and he loved his family deeply. According to police, Gage got into some type of argument in July on 11th Street in Akron's Kenmore neighborhood. Police say he tried to drive away, but someone shot into the car, hitting Gage who crashed into a tree and died. And if somebody is harboring, knowingly harboring, who shot my son, turn them in. The mother is grateful Summit County Crime Stoppers is now offering a reward up to $5,000 for information that leads to the killer. With no arrests, three months after the murder, Lieutenant Michael Miller hopes the money makes a difference. The reward is very significant, and we believe that and or hope it will kind of stimulate the conscience of someone. $5,000 is just a small sentiment of what we hope to be as eventual uh, healing of the family and their, their quest for justice. Lucretia says fighting for justice and talking about her son gives her the strength to move forward. Now she's hoping the killer is listening to her. You thought that you were a man when you pull that trigger. Be a man and own up to what you have done. Own up to the life that you have taken. Be a man about it. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. And if you know anything about the case, call the Summit County Crime Stoppers. And we wanted to know how Akron police are doing with closing their cases this year. And here's what we learned. So far this year, there have been 41 murders in Akron. 17 have been solved, while 24 remain unsolved. That's a solve rate of 41%. Now compare that to last year, when there were 50 murders for the entire year. 38 cases, or 76%, were solved. And in 2019, 55% of the 33 murders that year were solved.